Shoshimin series, an anime with a mystery to solve every episode and none of which I've been able to solve for myself. So, what's the verdict for this first season? Even before the summer season had started, this was the first anime that showed up on my radar, and when I got informed that it was written by the author of Hyoka, I was instantly locked in for this one. And simply put, I enjoyed every episode. While Shushimin is more negative and daring thematically compared to Hyoka, I love the mysteries for this one just as much as I love the mysteries in Hyoka. They're appropriate for the characters that we're dealing with, and this first season did more than enough to show that it can handle arc-spanning mysteries just as well as its episodic ones. Given that, if there is one takeaway that I got from this anime, it would be a realization that I had after seeing episode 5 where Jogoro was trying to figure out who ate the spicy Berliner. What was the realization? I enjoyed that episode, but after a visit to some discussion threads, I saw quite a bunch of people saying that the episode was boring, that they figured it out early on, and it was telegraphed. Takes like that. Obviously, that contrasted heavily to my perception of the episode, but then it hit me. Apparently, there are two kinds of people who watch mysteries. People who actively try to solve the mystery alongside the protagonist, and people like me who sit in the back just letting the mystery do its thing and see if the resolution was absolute cinema. And for the record, I'm not saying that there's a right way to watch a mystery. What I am saying here is that depending on your mindset when you watch a mystery, the entertainment value of a mystery changes quite drastically, as seen in this example where there are those who found episode 5 to be boring and there are people like me who thought the build-up to the reveal was really nice. The distinction between active viewers and passive viewers probably should have been obvious to me, but hey, baby steps. I mean, we'll get there when we get there. Having said that, it's a bit of a bummer that the first season ended with a breakup, in quotations, between our main leads. I mean, I really love their dialogues together, It, I, I think. It's one of the anime's greatest strengths, but yeah. At least season 2 has been announced to air in spring 2025, so if there's any consolation, at least we're guaranteed to see more Shoshimin and that is always good. It's going to be a 6 month wait before we get to see more of Jogoro and the ever adorable Osanai, but that's just how it is. So yeah, that's about it for me. Until next time then lads.